Well, more than a dozen schools in Virginia Beach could undergo major renovations, in fact. So tonight, you can learn a lot more about the upcoming construction projects. Neighbors have the chance to weigh in on the funding and timeline at a series of meetings. 13 News Now reporter Elise Brown has the latest on the plans. Virginia Beach school leaders want to hear from you. We're in the process of updating our long-range facilities plan that'll set the, set the course for the next 15 years. Tony Arnold is the executive director of facilities in the district, which has 82 schools. Over the past 20 years, he says the system has spent nearly $750 million replacing older schools. Now it's about looking ahead. The schools are are an economic engine here in Virginia Beach. 15 schools are up for modernization or replacement. That's based on physical condition, age, and type of building. The four high schools on the list are around 60 years old. Those include Princess Anne, Bayside, First Colonial, and Kempsville. The schools that we're designing and constructing today are, are much more flexible, much more technologically friendly. Also making the age of the list, Kempsville, Bayside, Independence, and Lynn Haven Middle Schools. On the elementary side, Princess Anne, Betty F. Williams, Holland, North Landing, Green Run, Fairfield, and White Oaks. A committee which consists of partly educators and students will host a series of community conversations. Dialogue of, uh, of what they would like to see in terms of the the pace and funding of replacing our oldest school buildings. All meetings are scheduled from 6 to 7.30. Tonight's location, the Old Donation School. Tomorrow, Tallwood High. Next week on the 14th, Kellum High School. And on the 15th, Great Neck Middle. Elise Brown, 13 News Now.